Hello developers, recently you would have received this policy violation message in your Play Console inbox regarding the target API level requirements for your Google Play apps. The message says update your target API level by August 31st 2024 to release updates to your app. Okay, before fixing this issue, let's see the importance of the target API update in your Android app. Each app specifies a target SDK version which is nothing but target API level in the module's build.gradle file. This target SDK version indicates how your app is meant to run on different Android versions. So configuring your app to target a recent API level ensures that users benefit from security, privacy and performance improvements. So in this video, I am going to show you what to do to fix this policy error in your Play Console. And I am sure by the end of this video, you will get full clarification on your doubts. So don't skip the video and watch till the end. The policy error says from August 31st, 2024, if your target API level is not within one year of the latest Android release, you won't be able to update your app. You may get a doubt, what if I miss to update? All your doubts I will clarify at the end of this video. So for now, click on view details. The violation is app must target Android 14, that is API level 34 or higher. And the deadline is August 31st, 2024. They have given the steps how to fix this issue also. First, update your app to target Android 14 and then publish a new version of your app to production. Okay, let's do that. Go to your Android Studio, open the project for which you got the policy violation message. Then open your app modules build.gradle file. Here, update the target SDK version to 34 and also update compile SDK to 34 to compile your app with the latest Android version. Okay, here the target SDK version shows a warning. It looked like you just edited the target SDK version from 33 to 34 in the editor. Be sure to consult the documentation on the behaviors that change as a result of this. The Android SDK upgrade assistant can help with safely migrating. Okay, click on this red mark, launch Android SDK upgrade assistant. This panel describes the major breaking changes and steps required to upgrade target SDK version. Select the version path from which version to which version you have updated. Check all these behavioral changes introduced in Android 14. If your app is using any of these core functions like schedule exact alarms, foreground services, implicit pending intents or broadcast receivers etc. Then you will have to modify your app to support these behaviors properly. If your app is not affected with any of these changes, then simply close the upgrade assistant. So the error got disappeared. Now sync the Gradle files. Rebuild the project. Okay, build is successful. Now run the app and check for all the features. If everything is okay, update the version code and version name, then generate the signed app bundle to release to Play Store. Okay, build is generated. Now go to your Play Console, upload the build to production. If you have any other changes along with the target SDK version update and you want to test your app thoroughly on devices, then release the build to any of these testing tracks, test the app on devices and then promote the release to production. But my app is a simple app and I have only target SDK change, so I am releasing the build to production directly. This procedure you already know, create new release. Drop the new bundle file, check the target SDK, update the release notes, click on next. 
Check for any errors or warnings. If nothing, then click on save. Go to overview. Okay, recently Google has introduced this new step, running quick checks for commonly found issues. Let's wait for it to complete. Yes, your changes can now be sent for review. Click on send one change for review. Send changes for review. Okay, now go to all apps. App is in review. After few hours, the app has been published to production. Okay, now let's check for the policy error. Click on this inbox message or go to policy status on the left hand menu options. Oh, the warning is still there. Open the warning. The same warning appears even after publishing the updates. Okay, in this case, click on view app bundles. App bundles with this issue are listed here. I have updated the production version directly, but there is an active version in closed testing with the target SDK version 33. So we will have to update this build version also. Okay, close this page. Go to closed testing. Click on manage track. Create new release. Here, select add from library because we cannot upload the same production version build to the closed testing. If you want, you can increment the version code and version name in your project, create the new build and drop the bundle file here. But I want to use the same production release bundle to my closed testing also. So select the production app bundle targeted the latest Android API 34. Click on add to release. Update the release notes for close testing. This is not mandatory. Okay, click next. Verify the release. Click on save. Go to overview. Send changes for review. So my close testing update was sent for review. After an hour, refresh the page. Yes, close testing review was done. Now let's check for policy status. Select the app. See, I have received an inbox message for my app. A recent policy violation in your app has been addressed. Go to policy status. Yes, there are no policy issues found. So, if you receive this policy warning for any of your apps, go to view details, click on view app bundles. You need to update all the app bundles listed here with updated target SDK version. The easiest way would be first update the testing tracks then promote that release to production. Means if you have internal testing bundle listed here, release your app for internal testing. After Google review, promote that same release to closed testing. Then after closed testing review, promote the same release build from closed testing to production. Hope it is clear. Now let me answer some of your questions. What happens if I miss to update the app by deadline? If you don't update your app with the latest target API level by August 31st, then after the deadline you are not allowed to make updates to your app. In that case you may have to request or write to Google for help. Instead better to update before the deadline. Next. I have an app published to Play Store that targets API 33 or lower and I do not plan to update. What should I do? If you don't want to make any future updates to your app, then you can ignore this policy warning. However, your app will not be available in Google Play Store to new users on devices running Android OS newer than what your app targets. It will be available only to play users with devices running Android OS with API level of your app or lower. Next, I am planning to update my app but I need more time beyond August 31st, 2024. What can I do? In that case, you may request an extension to continue distributing to all Google Play users. Go to the policy status page, request for additional time. 
If you request more time, you will have until November 1st, 2024 to update your app. The last one, will this update impact app downloads? Yes, as I said earlier, if you don't update your app with the latest target API level, the new users on devices with newer Android OS versions cannot discover or download your app from Google Play. So, don't delay the task, update your apps with the target SDK version 34 or higher in Google Play console. Hope you got the clear idea on this policy error. If you like my explanation, comment, like the video and subscribe to IRECA Tech Solutions. Thank you.